today was a travel day. We started out this morning leaving a nice little park called Settle Inn RV Park in Pawhuska, Oklahoma. And we really had a wonderful time in Pawhuska, Oklahoma. We arrived um, and stayed two nights, but we got there late in one day. The town is a, a old western a railroad town and basically it was a dying town until the pioneer woman uh, the Drummond family basically revitalized most of this town so uh, there's a few businesses restaurants that they own there along with the mercantile and a boarding house and a few things like that we just had a great time um, <clears throat> spent the day the next day riding motorcycles is about 70 degrees and We stopped in uh, Pawhuska, Oklahoma yesterday on the way through to a campground that's about four miles away. Checked out the downtown area which is adorable and of course it's got a lot of the uh, Reed Drummond Pioneer Woman influence. Uh, the mercantile and a few different restaurants we're going to come back and, and spend more of the day without the dogs we gave uh, priscilla her medicine and uh, we got to keep an eye on her with our remote camera that chris can watch on a nice app on her phone you see it and so it looks like uh, she's doing okay so we're only a few minutes away so if she starts acting up we can uh, head right back but the downtown area is absolutely gorgeous First place we're going is the Mercantile. She's been here three times, this but this will be my first time in. So I'm not an expert, At? but not all the businesses here are owned by the Drummond family. There are a few. <laughs> My wife's a little bit more clued on that. So they own the Mercantile, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And they own a sweet shop that's an ice cream Charlie's. shop with some candies called Charlie's, Charlie's Sweet Shop. And they own the boarding house, which is a small, small hotel. Mm -hmm. And they also own a pizza restaurant, right? P, P Town, right? P Town, yep. wood fired pizza, which we had last night. It was fantastic. Definitely get the, I think they're called knot knots or no garlic, knots. Garlic. They're basically garlic knots. My gosh. And they're fantastic. Uh, we had the pizza re, uh, which is a. Uh, what did it have on Tomato, it? Tomato, basil, pesto. Like three types of cheese. Uh, yeah, cheese, balsamic. It's like a thin crust over a wood roasted oven. It's very, it's very, very good. good. And uh, Chris came this morning for the biscuits and gravy, but they don't do carry out. So she brought back a. For breakfast. They do it for lunch. Oh, they don't do breakfast, breakfast carry outs. Yes. But they do lunch carry outs. So we couldn't try to break breakfast and gravy. We may. And try gravy? to sneak <laughs> biscuits and gravy. <laughs> we may try to sneak back in the morning and skip over and have a quick biscuits and gravy breakfast. Uh, but so far, the, the food's fantastic. The, the day here in October is 75 degrees and beautiful. As you can see, we're on our bikes. Look at uh, JC Penny and Company. This is the old tile thing. Look. Oh, that is cool. It's the actual tile from like a store. Yeah, this is the uh, old floor JC of JC Penney when it was awesome. here before they tore the building down, it appears. Yeah. And they left it for nostalgia purposes. It's pretty cool. Right underneath the pavement. Uh, but they may owe some of the other business, I'm not sure. I'm sure they have definitely revitalized this old town. We've been through a lot of old towns off the old highways and many of them have really look like they're dying in dead towns. Well, thanks to uh, Reed Drummond and her success, it looks like this town's been revitalized, lots of visitors, and of course they've got a few businesses, but there's quite a few other businesses for shopping and other things around as well. Oklahoma fun. There you go. It is warm. So we've walked the town of Pawhuska. There's plenty of uh, shopping and treats and fun. There's some hotels and plenty of places to stay if you're not uh, pulling your home with you like we are. They got the, uh, the boarding house there that's part of uh, the Mercantile. Right across the street there's another looks like fairly new Frontier, Frontier Hotel. And then down the road a little bit above these shops they've got a place that's called Hotel Suites above the uh, plaza there. And you can stay right on the streets here in the, in the suites on the second level where all the shops are. So if you like old town, downtowns, you like good food and shopping, Pawhuska is definitely worth the stop. You could probably spend a good four to six hours here and oh, yeah. not run out of things to do. So it's such a beautiful day, that helps, and we're gonna go jump back on the bikes and ride around outside of downtown and see what else we can find near Pawhuska, Oklahoma. If you're coming in and you've got a, a big rig, there is parking just off the road. There's a big parking lot. So although it's busy, there should be plenty of spaces for you to park.
So as you can see, we're uh, back at the Mercantile. Uh, we took a nice ride, and then Chris, on the way back into town, reminded me that uh, there were a couple cool things in there that we wanted to get for uh, Ted and Linda, my cousins we were staying with out in uh, Woodland, Washington. Uh, Ted helped us out doing some repairs to the motorhome after Priscilla destroyed the garage TV. And uh, I thought I would send him something special. So there's a motor oil scented candle that we're gonna get and send him. And then Linda loves roosters. Her kitchen is decorated with roosters. So Chris is gonna pick up a, uh, a cool rooster salt and pepper shaker. So once we're done here, uh, we're gonna continue our riding around Pawhuska. We're gonna get some gas. We took a, a little ride up near the uh, there's a prairie grass preserve. We got up there and uh, realized that our gas was getting a little bit low, so we didn't want to chance it. We didn't know how far it would be to a gas station if we kept going. Um, so we went ahead and turned around, came back, and now we're gonna finish our ride around Pawhuska, Oklahoma, and then head back to the RV park, which is called Settle Inn. It's a small RV park. It's like three miles from Pawhuska. If you're coming here and you want to stay overnight, it's the place to stay. It's the closest place. It's clean. No real amenities, uh, nice spots, nicely wooded, uh, nice area for the dogs to, to roam. Um, they do have cable if you want to pay for cable TV, three bucks a day. Uh, it's 30 bucks for, for 50 amp hookups and pull through sites for most of them, I think. There might have been some back ends, but most of them we saw were pull throughs. There's probably only about maybe 30 sites, but the host is fantastic. Uh, one thing to note is it's cash or check only, they don't take credit cards. so. Um, you want to make sure you have some cash uh, before you get out there. Other than that, Pawhuska, Oklahoma is uh, it's definitely worth the stop. I'm enjoying it. We just got back from the uh, motorcycle ride in Pawhuska and uh, the girls did great. Priscilla did fine while we were gone. We had her on the wise camera the whole time and uh, didn't move around very much. Pretty chill and very happy when we got home. All right, so a nice day in Pawhuska, Oklahoma. Yes. We rode the motorcycles. And we're gonna end it with uh, some dinner from, <laughs> you guessed it, the Mercantile. That'll be my fifth time. <laughs> That'll be her fifth time there. So I'm gonna hang out here with the dogs. Uh, we're gonna load up the motorcycles, clean the helmets, uh, love on the dogs a little bit. Chris is gonna make us a drink. And uh, then here in an hour or so, we'll get the menu out and order us a delicious dinner. And tomorrow we will head our way back to St. Louis. But uh, it was really nice break, stop. This was nice. Yeah, we needed we needed a day. day. We've been we've been traveling. We've been moving every day. Yeah, since, we've been moving every day since Sunday. Sunday. So it's yeah. four, four days of traveling, and then one day off here to uh, to have a nice ride. I mean, it wasn't a day off. I still got uh, five five hours in a work, yeah. and uh, I'll put a couple more hours in probably tonight before bed. Uh, but the nice what it was four hour break, four or five hour break, riding riding motorcycles. Yeah, looking around town, it was, it was great. It was great. Her eyes huge.
great customer service. Everybody there is just so friendly. So she's back with the goodies. Let's see. We have we have a biscuit. Got a dinner salad. Dinner salad. Brussels. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Side. Carrots is another side. Mm -hmm. Queso. Queso. Which smells delicious. Mmm. I think we got enough food for tomorrow. Get I think we sleep. intentionally ordered it up for. Twice baked potato, green beans, mm -hmm. and the filet. Filet. Which, oh my gosh, it Yummy. smells delicious. So, it's been a great day. Great day in Pawhuska, riding motorcycles, checking out the town, the mercantile, beautiful walk, beautiful weather, and delicious meals. And one thing's left, and I'll get it in just a moment after we're done eating. What? The same thing we had for breakfast, we're going to have for dessert, which is mm. <laughs> the bourbon, bourbon pecan, pecan sticky bun. Bourbon pecan sticky bun. Probably not a better way to wrap up the evening than a bourbon pecan sticky bun. This is just like one sixth of it, maybe. It comes in a six by nine pan, just dripping with caramely deliciousness. So, anytime we're coming close by, we will stop by and spend a day here because it was. Uh, a fantastic day.